Did you know that PowerShell has a built-in commandlet for writing progress bars? Well, it does. It's called Write Progress, and it's quite awesome. For every script that you write that is supposed to be run by your fellow humans, you should include Write Progress, just because staring at a mostly blank console with just the cursor blinking and really no way of telling it whether the script is doing anything at all or not, well, that's just irritating. But Write Progress is here to save the day. It can be used really simply, or you can do it uh, all advanced and cool. So uh, let's take it step by step, shall we? By the way, this is the kind of things that I often do on my Twitch streams. So consider following me there and uh, catching these kinds of things live. All right, now that that's done, let's um, take a look at our demos. And this is our main setup, uh, which you'll use uh, a lot of times doing the demos. And this is basically a simple script that does nothing. It sleeps, it sleeps, it gets some processes, it sleeps, it sleeps, it gets some services, and then it sleeps some more. And this is without any write progress. Let's see how this performs. As you can see, um, my script started. Uh, I have um, nothing more than a pretty blank console with a cursor blinking and really no way of knowing whether or not the script is um, stuck at some point, uh, if it's doing something importable, important or uh, yeah, basically anything. I have the blinking cursor. Oh, and now it's done. Um, so what happens if we add in some right progress lines to show just some a little bit of progress bar. So the way right progress works is that you have your activity, which is your main what's what, what are you doing? And then you have your status, which is uh, what are you currently working on, for example. And then finally, uh, you have a percent complete, which is, uh, well, basically the progress. The percent complete part is what will um, steadily increase the progress bar. Uh, as you can see here, I have 10, 20, 40, 50, 60, 80, and 90. This will just uh, make the progress bar jump from 10% to 20% and so on and so on. And um, at the end here, you can also see that I have added a completed part, uh, which is basically just to make the progress bar go away so that it doesn't stick. Uh, this is a nice thing to keep in mind. And yeah, let's see how this performs. As you can see, uh, when I'm running my script, I have a nice little progress bar. You can see that my activity is running your script and my status is sleeping for a bit. And you can also see my progress bar is uh, coming along uh, steadily and it will not be uh, step by step. It'll be jumping from 10 to 20% and so on based on the numbers that I have put in my script. So that's the basic usage of right progress. Uh, it's a lot better than nothing. But you can also add in some child uh, processes, uh, right progresses if you want. Uh, so say for instance, you have uh, a long script that has some sections in it. Uh, you can then have a main progress bar for your entire script. And then you can have a sub progress bar for your uh, each of your sections in the script. And the way that you do that is uh, I have added in a ID for my main progress bar here. And I have added another write progress line down here. And I have given it an ID of two and I have specified that the parent ID should be one, which will then refer to our write progress with the ID of one. And this is basically everything that I've done here. Um, I have also added in uh, a line that states that my, oh, sorry, that it should be completed at some point. Uh, this is because 
this sub um, progress bar will be for my get process part and then I want it to be gone and then for my get service part I will have it magically reappear down here so let's see how this performs you can see our uh, the same running your script sleeping for a bit part once it reaches our um, sub uh, right progress uh, it will put it under here and you can see that has it on its own progress bar which you can customize to your liking uh, the same way that you do for your main progress bar you just uh, input the percent complete and um, once uh, this is all done it should just clear up all the progress bars like so so that's uh, a bit more advanced usage of uh, right progress but let's do some cool stuff let's put all this into some for each loops and automate uh, not only the calculation of the percent complete but also show a bit more relevant information to our user so the same kind of script uh, but once we reach our get process here uh, you see that I have added a dollar progress equals one this is a variable that we will use to calculate our progress and thus our progress bar. And then I have a for each loop here, which is doing a for each process in processes, which we get on line 10 here. And um, as you can see, our write progress is uh, built up kind of the same way. I have my activity, which is getting all processes. Uh, but in my status, I have got and then my variable name, which is actually referring to the name of uh, each process in uh, that is found by get process. And then at the end here, we at our percent complete do some math uh, in order to calculate how far along we have come. We use our dollar progress, and then we uh, divided by our processes dot count, which is uh, the total number of processes found by get process and then we multiply that by a hundred uh, because that's how you calculate percentage and then below here i have just added a start sleep uh, just to show you that something is happening uh, bef uh, because without it uh, it would just loop through all of this too fast the last thing we do is increment our progress with uh, one and we do that by just specifying dollar progress plus plus uh, that will take the number uh, the progress has and increment it with the one. So this for each loop will uh, loop through each and every process found by get process and not only uh, show some useful information to our end user about each process name, it will also uh, create a progress bar that will uh, progress quite nicely uh, and smoothly not jumping from 10 to 20 and so on and so on furthermore i have also done the same thing down here with our service part so it will do a same kind of a for each loop for our uh, services uh, for each and every service found by get service it will show some information uh, about service name and have a progress bar that will progress quite nicely and that's basically it so Let's see how it performs. At the start, we have our usual five or 10 seconds of sleeping before it will reach our uh, get process uh, for each loop. And here you can see that it will output the name of each of every process that is found on my computer. Uh, some of the processes will uh, show up multiple times. So that is where you will see one process name just being stuck while the progress bar is moving along but as you can see the progress bar is moving quite smoothly along and then we move along and sleep for a bit more before uh, ultimately reaching our get service loop and it will be just the same as for our process loop it will uh, tell you the name of the service and the progress bar will um, progress quite nicely and smoothly and by the time that the uh, loop is done we have 
couple of more start sleeps um, and then the script is finished. And this is the way that you have a really cool write progress uh, or a cool progress bar, which is actually showing some useful information. Uh, in this case, only the, the name of the service or process, but this can be uh, expanded upon um, quite a bit. Uh, for example, if you have a long script that is creating users, for example, you can have, uh, have it print out the username for uh, each and every user so you know uh, just how far along it is, uh, not only by the progress bar, but also by the names. So this is uh, something you can use quite a lot uh, and that you should use quite a lot, actually, uh, at least for, for uh, scripts that is made to be run by your fellow human beings. If you liked this video, found it interesting, educational, whatever, consider dropping a like and subscribing. And also consider subscribing to my Twitch channel if you want to catch me doing these kinds of things live. And uh, yeah, see ya.